Hi guys, today I am back with a very different video to what I have been doing recently with my Let's Plays. Today my video is all about the build challenge that I have created recently. My first ever build challenge mind you, and I am going to introduce you in this video to this sim. This is Earl and he is very sad. He's very sad because he doesn't have anywhere to live. So I am hoping that you guys are going to build him a home and that he is going to be very comfortable because it's going to be his dream home. However, there is a catch. Not only are you going to build his dream home, you are going to incorporate the items that he has brought with him from his previous life. So without further ado, I will show you the items that he has brought. And if you're thinking, she is completely trolling us with these items, then you would be correct. They are items I have chosen from the base game that perhaps you you didn't know existed because some of them I didn't know existed, um, or you might not have seen for a while, and you might or you might just never have used. So, I am going to show you them right now. Big reveal music, la 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 la. Yeah, I can't sing. Uh, so anyway. These are the items that I have chosen for you to use in the build. Now the challenge is that you have to use each of these items at least once. So, I mean, you can duplicate them if you want, but I really can't see you doing that. Um, and also this wallpaper and this carpet has to be used at least once in the build as well. However, you're not limited to using these colours, it's just that I have put them together in these colours to show that they do match and I am not a complete monster. I mean, I am a complete monster, but at least I made you match, so that's fine. Um, I will show you what each of the items are uh, before before uh, I tell you more about what I want you to do. So, we do have this lamp, which is the Arcadia. We have the Trendsetter's Dresser, because he's got to have somewhere to put his clothes. We've got the Bonsai Tree, which is very out of shape and he needs to sort out. We have got this lovely pile of laundry that he has brought with him. You know, he didn't want to do that, so that's just that. The cluttered mind box, because yeah, we all need a little bit of clutter in our lives. Coloured fairy rug. This is just beautiful. Look at this rug. You could just use this in so many different places. Yeah, especially the bin. <laughs> and we've got the Midnight Raven model car, old fashioned camera, we've got the riveting console table, I feel like I'm on the generation game, uh, we've got the tragic clown painting because we can't go anywhere without the tragic clown painting, we've got this lovely shelf with a rainbow on it but you can change it to all these different things, look we've got dinosaurs, we've got a bunny rabbit, Aww. we've got some nice happy little mountains that would make Bob Ross proud. We've got a cloud, a white cloud, we've got a rainbow, a car, so you know the possibilities are endless with that shelf. I just don't know what you're going to do with it because it's just, there's too much choice. We've got the copper cow mould, the industrial clock, the ode to jazz one, a wonderful curtain, Sartre Valance, yeah I did not say that right at all, and we have the lots of love bear. The riveting end table, the cosy cubby, a lovely rubber duck, which is for children only apparently. We've got a lovely picture of a pear and a matching apple, in case you were thinking, oh no, we've just got the pear, not the apple. We've got the bright idea robot lamp, and I think I've showed you that. We've got the whipped dream cupcake factory because Earl cannot go anywhere without that. I don't know how he brought all this stuff with him but he did. So and lastly but not least by any means we have Bob the butler fancy sculpture and he's holding a future cube so you could almost say that the future is in his hands but we won't. So I am very excited to see what everybody is going to do with all these items because I don't know what I would do with all these items. So yes, the possibilities are endless. 
And if you're thinking, oh yeah, there is a lot of like toys here, I I've got some great ideas, then I want to tell you a little bit about Earl himself. Earl hates children. One of his traits is that. So, chances are of him having a child are very slim. So good luck with that one. So we've got Bro, Dance Machine, hates children, and he wants to be the leader of a pack. So, you know, good luck. Good luck with that. And as I said, as I have actually provided a set of rules with this and I'm gonna post them on my Twitter and I'm also gonna put them on my Tumblr along with this video. So once you've finished your build, which please don't build on any more than a, a 30 by 20 lot. You can cheat in the money. Uh, I'm not gonna limit you to a certain amount of money. Um, like I said, you, you're not limited to just base game items. It's just that you have to use at least these items at least once. You can use any packs that you have because I, I do have all the packs, so that's fine. Um, you can use you can use cheats like move objects and stuff like that. Please don't use any custom content because I don't have any custom content, so it wouldn't show up in the build. Uh, you can use terrain tools. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm just really intrigued to see what people will come up with and really excited. Uh, and yeah, I just think it's going to be a blast. So. What I'm going to do is, if you can get your entries in by the 1st of April, I will then obviously look through as many entries as I possibly can and showcase um, quite a lot of them on on a video, along with picking, picking a lot that I liked the most. Uh, that lot will be put into my uh, game, because I am currently in the middle of updating all the worlds in The Sims 4 and when I do eventually finish doing that I will make a, a downloadable save file for people to use um, and that this house will be included along with Earl who will then be featured in my Legacy Challenge Let's Play. Another challenge that you might be interested in if you go to my Tumblr the rules to that challenge are on there it's quite a long one that one it's a Legacy Challenge so there are 10 generations each with their own rules so all built all centered around collecting different items in the game so yeah so um you know head to my youtube channel and um, well you if you if you're watching this video you'll already be on my youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe like do the notification notification bell whatever just leave comments chat spam me i don't care just you know i'm, I'm easy going come have a chat with me and you know follow me on twitter tumblr all those things and i will leave you now so happy building